Welcome again and I'm continuing reading from the book of Daniel of the Old Testament, chapter 7 onwards. In the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head upon his bed and then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matters. Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night and behold the four winds of heaven strove upon the great sea and the four great beasts came upon from the sea diverse one from the other. The first was like a lion and the eagle's wings. I beheld till the wings thereof were plucked, and it lifted from the earth, and made stand upon the feet as a man, and a man's heart was given unto it. And behold another beast, a second, like to a bear, and it raised itself upon one side, and it had three ribs in the mouth of it, between the teeth of it, and thus lay th said thus unto it, Arise, devour much flesh. After this I beheld, and lo, another, like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. The beast also had four heads, and dominion was given to it. After this I saw in night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, and strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth. It devoured and brake in pieces, and stamped the residue with the feet of it, and it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. I considered the horns, and behold, there came up from another, another little horn, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of a man, and a mouth speaking great things. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was as white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth before him, Thousands and thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. Judgment was set, and the books were opened. I beheld then, because of the voice of the great words which the horns speak, I beheld every till, even till the beast was slain, and a body destroyed, and given to the burning flame. As concerning the rest of the beasts, they had the dominion taken away. Their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven, and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him, and there was given him dominion, glory, and kingdom, and all peace, people and nations and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. Daniel, I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body, and the visions of my head troubled me. I came near unto one of them that stood by, and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me, and made me know the interpretation of these things. These great beasts, which are four, are four kings, which shall arise out of the earth. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Then I would know the truth of the four beasts fourth beast, which was diverse from the others, exceedingly dreadful, whose teeth were of iron, and his nails of brass, which devoured and brake in pieces, and stamped the residue with his feet, and of the ten horns that were in his head, and of the other which came up, and before whom three fell, even of the horn that had eyes and a mouth that spake very great things, whose look was more stout than his fellows. I beheld, and the same horn made war with the saints, and prevailed against them until the Ancient of Days came, and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High, and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Thus he said, The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, should tread it down, and break it into pieces. And the ten horns out of this kingdom are the ten kings that shall arise, and others shall ri arise after them, and he shall be diverse from the first, he shall subdue three kings. And he spake great words against the Most High, uh, and shall bear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of the time. And the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion, to consume and to destroy it until the end. And the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. Hitherto is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my cogitations much troubled me, and my countenance changed in me, but I kept the matter in my heart. Chapter 8 
In the third year of the reign of the king, Belshazzar, a vision, appeared unto me, even unto me, Daniel, after that which appeared unto me at first. And I saw in the vision, and it came to pass when I saw that I was at Susha in the palace, which was in the province of Elam. And I saw in a vision, and I was in the river of Ula. Then I lifted my eyes and saw, and behold, there stood before the river Arpaam, which had two horns, and two horns were high, but one higher than the other, and the higher came up last. I saw the ram pushing westward and northward and southward, so that no beast could stand before him. Neither was there any who could deliver out of his hand, but he did according to his will, and became great. And as I was considered, behold, a he goat came from the west, on the face of the whole earth, and touched not the ground, and the goat had a not notable horn between his eyes. And he came to the ram that had two horns, which I had seen standing between the river, and ran unto him in the fury of his power. And I saw him close, close unto the ram, and he was moved with choler against him, and smote the ram, and brake his two horns. And there was no power in the ram to stand before him, but he cast him to the ground, and stamped upon him. And there was none that could deliver the ram out of his hand. Then the he goat waxed very great, and when he was strong, and the great horn was broken, and for it came uh, four notable ones toward the four winds that of heaven. And out of one of them came forth a little horn, and waxed exceedingly great toward the south, toward the east, and toward the pleasant land. And it waxed great, even to the host of heaven. And it cast down some of the host and the stars to the ground, and stamped upon them. Yes, he magnified himself even to the prince of the host. And by him the daily sacrifice was taken away, and the place of his sanctuary was cast down. And a host was given him against the daily sacrifice by reason of transgression. And it cast down the truth to the ground, and it practiced and prospered. Then I heard... One saint speaking, another saint which said unto certain saint which speak, How long shall be the vision concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary and the host be trodden underfoot? And he said unto me, Unto two thousand and three hundred days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. And it came to pass, even I, even I, Daniel, had seen the vision and sought the meaning. Then behold, he stood before me as the appearance of a man. And I heard a man's voice between the banks of Ulai, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. So he came near where I stood. And when he came, I was afraid and fell upon my face. But he said unto me, Understand, O son of man, for at the time of the end shall be the vision. Now as he was speaking with me, I was in a deep sleep on my face toward the ground. But he touched me and set me at a right. And he said, Behold, I will make thee know what the shall be in the last day, end of the indignation, for a time appointed unto the end shall be. The ram which thou sawest, having two horns, are the kings of Media and Persia, and the rough goat is the king of Grecia, and the great horn that is between his eyes is the first king. Now, that being broken, whereas four stood up for it, four kingdoms shall stand up out of the nation, and not in his power. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences shall stand up, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. He shall destroy wonderfully and prosper, and practice and shall destroy the mightily, mighty and the holy people. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. He shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand against the prince of princes, and he shall be broken without hand. And the vision of the evening and the morning which was told is true. Wherefore shut up thou the vision, for it shall be for many days. And I, Daniel, fainted and was sick certain days. Afterward I rose up and did the king's business, and I was astonished at the vision, but none understood it. Chapter 9 in the first year of Darius, the king of Ahasuerus, the, of the seed of Medes, which was made king over the realm of Chaldeans, in the first reign of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of years 
Therefore the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Jerusalem. And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayers and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant in mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commands, we have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly, have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants, the prophets, which spake in thy name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, to all the people of the land. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces, as at this day, to the men of Judah, to the ten men of East Jerusalem, unto all Israel, that are near and that are far off, through all countries whither thou hast driven them, because of their trespass that have trespassed against thee. O Lord, to us belongeth confusion of face, to our kings, to our princes, to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. To the Lord our God belong mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants the prophets. Yes, all Israel has transgressed their law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. And he has confirmed his words, which he spake against us, and against our judges that judged us, by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven hath not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem. As it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil is come upon us. Yet made we not our prayer before the Lord our God, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. Therefore has the Lord watched upon the evil and brought it upon us. For the Lord our God is righteous in all his works which he doeth, for we obey not his voice. And now, O Lord our God, thou hast brought thy people out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand and hast gotten thee renowned. As at this day we have sinned, we have done wickedly. O Lord, according to all thy righteousness, I beseech thee, let thine anger that fury be turned away from the city or uh, thy city Jerusalem, thy holy mountain, because for our sins and for the iniquities of our fathers, Jerusalem and thy people are become a reproach to them that are about us. Now therefore, O God, our God, hear the prayer of thy servant and his supplications, and the cause thy face to shine upon thy sanctuary that is desolate for the Lord's sake. O my God, incline thine ear, hear. Open thine eyes, behold our desolations, the city that is called by thy name. For we do not present our supplications before thee for our righteousness, but for thy great mercies. O Lord, hear, O Lord, forgive, O Lord, hearken, and do, defer not, for thine own sake, O my God. For thy city and thy people are called by thy name. And while I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people, Israel, and presenting my supplication, before the Lord my God, for the holy mountain of God. Yea, while I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly, fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. And he informed me and talked with me and said, O Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. At the beginning of thy supplications, the commandment came forth, and I am come to show thee, for thou art greatly beloved. Therefore, understand the matter and consider the vision. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression, to make an end of sins, to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up the vision and the prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. Know therefore and understand that from and the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem, Unto the Messiah, the Prince, shall be seven weeks, and threescore and two weeks. The street shall be built again, and the wall even in troublous times. 
and after three score and two weeks shall messiah be cut off but not for himself and the prince of the prince people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary and the end thereof shall be with a flood and unto the end of the war desolations are determined and he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week and the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate